You know, when we're in that spot and you're training and you're dieting, we're starting to fantasize about the after hours restaurants you went to in college, it probably means you're onto something good. You know what I mean? Right? Yo, what up guys? It's Nick and it is time for a lead my video blog. So I want to fill you in on a little bit of the stuff that's been going on and tell you kind of what my goal is now for Lean Life Revolution in terms of our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. So we've been a little bit quiet with videos lately because we've had a ton of work going on with developing new products, um, developing products for other people, helping to collaborate with some other companies to create some really cool stuff. And we've just been swamped. Um, and we've gotten away from making videos, but um, one of the things I want to tell you today is that we're getting back to committing to making videos for you guys and we're going to be taking on a lot more of a video blog format so you can see what we're doing. Um, we're going to show you food stuff. We're going to show you meal prep stuff. We're going to show you workout stuff. I'm going to take you guys places with me um, when we work out with cool people or go try cool stuff. Um, so for right now, I am four weeks out of my first men's physique show, maybe first and only, <laughs> but first. Um, because I just wanted to set a really lofty goal for myself because of all the travel and all the crap I've had to do lately. I didn't want to just kind of like let my body go by the wayside. I wanted to kind of establish a really like healthy goal for myself. And so competing at a physique show is what I chose to do. It's been going pretty well. I mean, the first eight weeks I was on the road, but the second eight weeks my schedule is a little more steady. Um, and so I think I'm right where I need to be to be four weeks out. And so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go, uh, right now we're gonna go to the gym. Today is the higher carb day in our carb cycle, so today we're gonna do back and legs at the gym with a focus on moving weight but keeping the pace really intense and getting some fat burning in while we're lifting. Um, I did cardio this morning. We'll probably do a little bit more cardio after we lift, um, depending on how long that lift takes. And then um, I'm gonna put in a video that I made yesterday when I was doing all my meal prep and so you can see what kind of stuff I have ready. And then my goal for you guys is to get three video blogs out a week um, to you guys. So this week we have a ton going on. I gotta fly to Eat the Bear in Charlotte tomorrow night to meet with those guys on Friday. I'm gonna hook up with my friends Rachel and Disco in Charlotte for a workout on Friday afternoon. I'll show you guys all that. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of cool stuff coming up. So I'm gonna show you guys this workout we're doing right now. Make sure to like, make sure to follow, make sure to subscribe. Let's get busy. All right, so it's back in legs time. So like I said, four weeks out from the show, um, and so I'm gonna be super setting all my stuff between a back exercise and a lower body exercise. I'm not gonna be going super heavy on my lower body stuff. I'm using my lower body stuff more as like a metabolic pop in between working sets for my back, and then we'll do some rear delts and some arms today too. So we're gonna warm up with some alternating lunges and renegade rows, which is one of my favorite full body warm ups ever. We're gonna show you that, and then we're gonna go right into some working stuff. We're gonna super set a pull exercise or a rear delt exercise with a lower body exercise. Lower body stuff's gonna be a ton of reps, lighter weight, just getting that, again, getting that metabolic pop, getting that fat burning, getting that heart rate going, uh, using that lower body movement. So check it out, here we go. Whew. It's gonna be the only heavy base movement we do today, and it's gonna be pull-ups for five. I'm gonna back squat at 225 for five. We're gonna do that five times through. Uh, this is the only heavy thing we're gonna do, then everything else is gonna go a little lighter, a little higher rep, a little more metabolic, but do a little bit of pure strength work today, why not? So you notice on these pull-ups, I'm going really slow, and I'm really squeezing that little point at the top because I want to make sure with a heavier movement for a lower rep that I'm really stimulating full contraction of the muscle, holding it for a second, and then slowly elongating as opposed to a faster rep where I'm not getting that squeeze. This is the first exercise in my back routine, so I want to make sure I really activate my lats, get a good squeeze, so they're kind of active and connected for the rest of my workout. Pink straps, baby, all day.
Everyone's done. Now, I'm gonna keep with the squat, actually, because I kind of like the squat in this workout. So we're gonna go with a seated cable row for like 15, 20 reps, and then I took this squat down to 135, and we're gonna blast out like 20 squats, just again, really get that metabolic pop, really get that metabolism going in overdrive. So, go seated cable rows right behind me right here. In with that barbell squat, we're gonna do four rounds of this one, maybe five, uh, and keep the reps real high, real fast. Okay, so you may notice that I'm wearing my straps for my back stuff. So right now, because I'm working a lot on my posing too, I've been having trouble connecting with my lats when I'm posing. And so by using my straps, I'm trying to take the movements out of my hands a little bit and force it more into my back so I can really mentally connect to those muscles better. Plus, I did jujitsu forever, so they get very grippy. And so it lets my forearms and my hands relax a little bit and then really squeeze with my lats. I'm just taking a break. All right, so for this superset, we're gonna go with a wide grip uh, lat pull down. I'm gonna take that into a body weight alternating lunge. Again, just using my legs to keep my metabolism really high, keep my heart rate up, and we're toning and showing, sculpting those legs a little bit, but at the same time, really just driving the metabolism in between working sets for my back. We're gonna do a couple more things for back, then go into some rear delts, some calves, and then uh, go into some arm work. probably gonna be the last big compound superset for back and legs. We're gonna do a uh, machine leg press right here. We're gonna knock out, uh, I'm trying to get 30 or 40 reps on this one because the weight's pretty light. And then we're gonna go to this machine reverse grip pull down, try to get 15 reps on that one. Four working sets back and forth. Really just knocking the wheels off this thing, man. Having a good time. So I'm gonna take a little intermission, do some rear delt work on the cable, just some bent over cable rear delts, alternating probably four sets, like 12 or 15. And then because I did a lot of quad dominant movement today and it is a leg day, I'm gonna do some uh, isolated hamstring curls on the machine and then superset that with some machine bicep curls. I'm probably just gonna like five or six high rep sets of that and then hit my posing and then that's a day. All right, so workout's done. I'm just about to start making my post-workout shake right here. Um, what I actually have today is I'm gonna go two scoops of my bear ice lift from Eat the Bear. And then I think I've got a couple more of these chocolate crunch rice cakes, which is gonna be today. Um, so finished up my work and then did around 10 minutes of uh, posing because we have a show coming up. And I wanna make sure that I get a good pump in those muscles and then practice my posing routine so that I can get that down. So it's a lot harder than you think it is, man. People take it for granted, but it's, it's hard. It's, I mean, this whole doing a physique competition is just to push myself out of my comfort zone, try something new and you know, learn something different about my body. And I think that's you know, the point of all this working out stuff is to continually learn new things and push yourself in new capacities and find ways to step outside of your comfort zone. You know, and for me, doing a bodybuilding type show is definitely outside of that. So um, I'm gonna, uh, get this post-workout meal in, get in the car, go home, and then um, show you guys some of my food at home. But uh, 
Didn't, I'm not doing post-workout cardio today. I did fasted cardio this morning and then I have a double cardio day tomorrow. Plus I have a flight late tomorrow night and so I've got a lot going on. I'm not gonna get myself too wiped out. Still have four weeks and I'm pretty, pretty good to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for this workout and then I'll show you some food next. All right, you guys, so like I said when I was at the gym, I wanna walk you through a little bit of what my uh, day-to-day -day diet looks like right now. So I kind of laid everything out on the counter here and I'm gonna kind of take you through it. So first of all, supplements that I'm using right here, it's all eat the bear stuff. So I've got my bear aminos and my bear energy. So I take these together before I go do my fast and cardio in the morning. And then I do this again before I either lift in the afternoon or do a second cardio or a hit session in the afternoon. So that's these two things. I take my essential multivitamin from bear. Um, uh, with breakfast or with my second meal sometimes because you always want to take that with some food in your stomach and then um, I have their bear isolate I have the cinnamon bun flavor I have the ice cream sandwich in my gym bag along with the chocolate peanut butter and then I also have some of their natural whey protein um, and I like to have that especially for my last meal sometimes when I'm not having a case in protein so these are my supplements I wanted you to see those first next right here we pretty much have all the proteins that I'm using right now so I've got just regular old liquid egg whites, but I also have some cake batter muscle egg egg whites in there. So sometimes if I put it in um, a protein shake or if I'm making pancakes with it, because sometimes I'll just put oats and egg whites and some cinnamon in a blender, mix it up and then make like a pancake with it if I want to break from oatmeal. Um, I'll use the flavored egg whites, but otherwise I just use these straight up. And then in here, I also have uh, my cod because I'm starting to transition to eating more fish and less chicken and beef, especially now that we're getting closer and I gotta start getting a little more ripped. So I have my cod in here, and then I have my chicken done right in here. I like to do this without any spices, any seasonings, and then I'll salt it or spice it, whatever I can as I, you know, as I eat it. But I find that if you put a lot of spices on stuff before you cook it in the oven, it kind of like cooks out anyway, so I like to cook it pretty bare and then do it like that. So those are my proteins, okay? Next, we got our veggies, which are super important. All right, green beans. I always go to green beans and I do my broccoli here and I do my broccoli oven roasted. So what I do is I take broccoli florets, I put them on a baking sheet, I spray them with an olive oil cooking spray and then I dump a ton of spices on them because vegetables on like protein are gonna hold those spices really well when you cook them, All right? So I do my broccoli like that um, and especially right now that my carbs are pretty low, I'm pumping my sodium up a little bit um, to kind of balance out. So I put a lot of salty type seasonings on my broccoli and I think it's really delicious. And then finally, I got my carb sources over here. So again, for my carb sources, I want stuff that's easily measurable and easy to portion, right? So what I've got right here is just straight up regular white rice, all right? Uh, it's a little easier to eat than brown rice, especially when you're having it without a lot of stuff on it, so I do this. And then, of course, you got your good old fashioned Quaker oats. And then I keep these caramel corn or sometimes the chocolate crunch rice cakes on hand. And these are typically what I'll have post-workout, what I want that simple carbohydrate right after I work out. So right now, my program looks like this. So I'm pretty much consuming between 315 and 340 grams of protein a day. I'm right around 190 pounds and I'm four weeks out. And then I'm cycling my carbs from as close to zero as possible to right around 50 grams, to right around 100 to 150 grams, then back to zero, then back to 50, then back to 150. On those zero carb days, I'm doing a double cardio session or an AM cardio and a PM hit session. And then on the other days, I'm doing chest and shoulders on my lower carb day, back and legs on my higher carb day. So I'm using that carb intake to fuel the bigger muscle groups when I work out. I'm doing fasted cardio all week. Um, I pretty much don't take any days off with fasted cardio right now. And then depending on my workout, sometimes I'll do a high intensity session after my workout or I'll do another 20 to 30 minutes of fasted cardio afterwards. Um, again, I'll typically do 30 minutes after I do chest and shoulders, so that's a shorter workout. But today I did back and legs. You actually saw that workout in here. Um, and I didn't do any cardio afterwards because I pretty much annihilated it just like that. And I don't want to overtrain at this point because I'm already pretty close to overtraining, uh, which is just the nature of being this close to a show. Um, so this is what my program looks like right now. You know what I mean? This is all the stuff we're taking in. It's super simple, super easy. You don't need to make it complicated. I just track my protein, I track my carbs, I track my fats and keep my fats really low right now because for me, when I eat a lot of fat, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't let me get really hard in my muscles. You know what I mean? I'm trying to really harden up and lean out. Um, and so I'm keeping my fats pretty low, which is why you don't really see any fats in here. I'm getting natural fats through my fish, a little bit through my chicken. Every once in a while, I'll throw some eggs in with my egg whites. I get my fat that way, but that's all pretty low right now. So I keep it really simple. I keep it really meditative. And this is uh, what the program looks like right now.